Hello little buns, it is Steph, welcome back to my home. We have a special thing today because, let me tell you why, there are now, I can't even say it, there are over 300,000 little buns. There's a lot of you, and that's a lot, and we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate 300,000 subscribers. I'm so happy and honored that all of you wanna take the time to watch me at least once a month or something, you know, just take some time to watch my little videos and stuff. I really appreciate it. You allow me to live the life that I'm living, and you enable me to be happy and to be productive and creative, and my life would be completely different without you guys. You guys have, have changed my life forever. I'm just, I'm so happy that you're here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do something. I'm gonna Make you some bread. I know I was asking on Twitter and stuff. I was like, what do you guys think I'm gonna do for the 300,000 video? And like half of you said bake bread. And I was like, yeah, yeah. You're right, you guessed it, you're right, I'm sorry. So I went to Google and I was like, let me find a vegan bread recipe so that I'm including everybody. Because, you know, non-vegans can still eat vegan food, it's still good, like chill. Okay, so I found an easy whole grain seeded bread recipe. And um, I'm not really a very kitchen savvy folk, you know, like I used to be, you know, and then I moved in with a roommate and I just stopped using the kitchen as much for some reason. I guess I just got used to ordering food a lot. I don't know what happened. I don't know what the correlation is, but it just happened. I order a lot of food, like I ordered food for like five days and it's fine, don't worry about it. But we're gonna, we're gonna make some food today. That's what we're gonna do. I have a glass of water with me so that I can stay hydrated while I produce this creation for you. <coughs> anyway, the recipe has five stars, which is pretty great. I'm down for it. Prep time. Wait, what? Four hours and 15 minutes. How's that work? We're gonna, we're gonna do it. It's, don't worry. Um, cook time, 21 minutes. I presume that like you leave it to rise for like four hours maybe, I don't know. So, I'm gonna read this for you here, okay? Easy, nine ingredients seeded whole grain bread with oats, sunflower seeds, and flax seed. Naturally sweetened, hearty, wholesome, and so simple to make. Mix, rise, bake. Author, minimalist baker, recipe type, bread, cuisine, vegan, serves 12. By 12 it means one because I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Okay, so ingredients are one and a half cups of warm water. We got that. We got three fourth tablespoon of fast acting yeast. I got that right here. Two tablespoons maple syrup, agave, or honey if not vegan. But you know what, we're gonna do a vegan and also we're in Canada, so we're gonna do maple syrup, okay? Half tablespoon salt. Where's the salt? Excuse me, I need some salt. Are we, do we not have, what? It's, ah, ah, it's hiding, ah. But it's all good, we're fine. I got the salt, I got it. One tablespoon flaxseed. So naturally I bought a whole bag because uh, that's what I do. Two cups, two cups. Bob's Red Mill Whole Wheat Pastry Flour. Now this is not a sponsored video by Bob's Whole Wheat Pastry Flour, so I just got some nice no-name whole wheat pastry flour. It's gonna be fine. You want all-purpose unbleached power for rolling and dusting so you can like, it doesn't stick to shit. And then two tablespoons raw or roasted sunflower seeds. Raw sunflower seeds. And two tablespoons rolled oats. Oh, rolled oats. I'm thinking I might do a double batch so I can have a lot of bread and also that'll be more fun to watch me like try to double everything. It's gonna be a good time. We're just gonna jump right in here. The recipe's on my phone, by the way. That's why I'm looking at this. I'm not like texting my friends while I'm making you bread. Okay, I'm not that kind of woman. I'm not that kind of girl. So basically, I have to combine everything in a bowl. So we're gonna get the water in here. Oh, I'm mixing it all in this pretty pink bowl, by the way. So we got one and a half cups. Oh, but we're gonna do a double batch, right? Yeah, so we're gonna do three cups. There we go, three cups of water, okay. Yeast is three-fourths of a tablespoon. So if we double that, it's one and a half tablespoons, right? Am I wrong? This is a big ta- Oh, guys, my tablespoon, me my measuring spoons are cow print. I think they're so cute. Yay, we did it. Okay, we got the yeast in there now. The yeast makes the bread or something. I don't know what it does, it's fine. I should really know. If I'm gonna be this obsessed with bread, I should know what it does. Maple syrup, that's two tablespoons. Mm-hmm. That's how we roll in Canada, you know? Don't worry guys, it was closed. So if it's if it's two tablespoons regular, we're gonna do double, we're gonna do four tablespoons maple syrup. No, don't lick it. Don't lick it, that's bad. I'll wash it, it's fine, I'll wash it. Oh, but there might be yeast on here, that's not gonna taste good. <laughs> salt, okay, so it's half a tablespoon salt, so we're gonna do a full tablespoon salt. Come through salt, flaxseed and flour. So flaxseed is a tablespoon, so we're gonna do two tablespoons of flaxseed. This is the President's Choice Organic whole flaxseed because apparently I couldn't find regular ass flaxseed in Lava's. Oh this is, this is, these are seeds. Like this is a seed. Like this is not, it's not, it's no joke. Flowers. Okay, so four cups of whole wheat pastry flour. Here we go. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, and one more. Four cups of flour. Okay, so I just use a spoon to stir it all now. I'm sorry I don't have a colorful spoon. You guys want to see? I'm going to hold it like a mom. 
Okay, this smells like bread. It's hair out of the way. Oh my god, this reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of baking with my dad. This is gonna be great. I'm really excited. You guys, I'm so happy that you're joining me on my adventures. So the estrogen's making me unable to do this because my muscles are like getting smaller and I feel really weak very often. Okay, so I have to add flour until it no longer sticks to the side. We're gonna start to knead with our claws. It'll be fine. I'm actually really nervous about this. Oh, I shouldn't have used both hands because now I can't grab the flour to pour it in. It's fine. Let's just add more. Dang, Steph likes a lot of bread, you know? Steph wants a lot of bread. This is a bad decision. I probably should have maybe added more flour. I should have already had the flour set aside in like a bowl or something so I could just grab it and pour it in. It's fine. That's more like it. Now it's starting to get like a little bit. This is so fun. Let me know in the comments if you guys bake bread regularly or if like it's something that you've done. Cause this is my first time doing this myself, which is why I wanted to share it with you. This is the thickest, stickiest, strangest substance that I've ever touched. I wonder if it's gonna kill me if I eat it. Like there's no egg, so I can't see what would kill me if I ate it. Is yeast bad if you eat it before it's cooked? A little bit more from mama. There you go. If any of you see me doing something wrong, I'm sorry. This is going to be the hardest experience for you if I've done something terribly wrong and you guys are like, okay, this bitch is just making the devil's bread and she doesn't even know it. All the bread that I've seen doesn't do this, so who knows? So I've got this big ball of dough. I think I'm going in the right direction with this. It seems to be developing in the way that I was told bread normally does. My phone is just covered in flour. I can't even see it. You all right? There we go, you, you're okay. There is so much dough under my nails, it's kind of driving me crazy. Maybe one dough will fit in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split them in half. I really feel like that's about half. I don't think I've ever used my hands this much in my life. Like it's still sticky inside. Should it be sticky inside? I don't know, guys. Well, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you're having to experience this after you are an expert on baking bread and you're watching me terrorize these ingredients. It's gonna plop that in the first greased bowl, and now we just let it rise for two hours. So, like... That's gonna be hard for me because I'm not a patient person. I also think it's really important that, you know, you guys, you clean as you, as you cook, because otherwise your kitchen becomes a nightmare and everybody hates everything. We have to cover these. I have 100 feet of saran wrap right in my drawer. So we're just gonna try not to use the whole 100 feet, just like most of it. I think it is worth mentioning that I'm also making a beautiful stew tonight. So I'm gonna have like a beautiful stew and a beautiful bread and it's gonna make my heart happy. Unless I manage to f both of them up, then I'm gonna be really upset and you're gonna know about it. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, um. Siri, do I need to store yeast in the fridge or in the cupboard? Siri, do I need to store yeast in the fridge or in the, not yeast. Okay, now for real, I'll be back in two hours, okay? I'll be back in for real this time. I'm not just joking with you. I'm gonna be back later, okay? I'm gonna be back later. Okay, so it has been two hours. My hair is falling apart. It's fine, don't worry about it. That's the fine. Two hours and look at it. They're big now. It's a big, it's a big bread. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that. Well, we have to move these into the fridge. They have to they have to rise outside of the fridge for two hours, and then they have to rise in the fridge for two hours. The recipe said if you wanted to rush it, you could do it in the fridge right away. You didn't have to do it out of the fridge, but I wanted to take my time and hopefully make them really good. So we're gonna put them in the fridge now. I just like it's so cool to see how like they got so much bigger. I probably should not have opened or touched them, but whatever, I don't care. Oh, Siri, set a timer for two hours. Okay. Hours. Thank you, Siri. You're an angel. We'll see you again in another two hours because that's apparently what we do in this house. Apparently, we just we go away for hours at a time. Guys, hello, in law. It's, it's been it's been two more hours. We're nearing the end of my day, but we have to finish this bread. So the next step is going to be pretty interesting. We have to implement the oats. That's what we have to do. We have to implement the oats. They are risen AF. They're quite heavy too. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Ah! Got one bread and then two bread. We got the two bread, two of the bread. That's exciting. So it told me to poke a hole in it and pour seeds into it. So I'm just gonna like, see I'm making a hole and just like stretching it open. You know, I honestly didn't think this would take me the entire day, but hey, that's fine. Gonna have delicious bread for like a whole week now. This is the raw sunflower seeds. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of those. How do I open this without destroying the world? It says on the back, these aren't ordinary oats. I don't know what kind of oats they are, if they're not ordinary, but that's fine. I'm gonna get in here for my oats, feeling my oats presently. I love oats, to be honest, I'm a horse. 
I, I guess I lied. Flower, you aren't cute. Get off my counter, flower. You don't pay any rent. That's it. That's the whole song. Goodbye. Okay, y'all, it's been like 40 minutes since I covered the dough, and it says to do something. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Let's start doing that. Towards the end of the dough resting time and place a metal or cast iron pan, not glass, Pyrex or ceramic, okay, on the lowest oven rack. Also have one cup of hot water ready. Okay. When the oven is preheated, slash the bread two or three times with a knife, making a cut about half an inch deep. Okay. Cool. This dough is risen as Look at the little buns. Look at the little buns. All right, so we're just gonna wait for 10 minutes then because that's just what we're gonna do. Because otherwise, we'll be going too fast. Oh my God. That just, this seems a lot hotter than it's supposed to be, but like it said 425 Fahrenheit and I'm believing it. So we have to cut, we have to cut the things in the bread now. So let's just, just cutting like, you know, straight lines across it like you would in the medieval. Like when you see bread in an RPG and it's got the three lines across it, that's what I'm doing. And now I think we just put it in the oven. Let me just look over that first. Cause I don't want to do this wrong. You know, I probably already it up three times, but let's just, I put a, I put a, a, a metal saucepan and I have to pour hot water into the shallow pan on the rack beneath. Expect it to bubble and steam and close the oven door quickly. And then I have to bake it for like 30 minutes or, or until it's dark brown, like golden brown, deep golden brown. Let's just do this as quickly as possible because I don't want to burn my face off. I'm gonna have the water ready right beside the oven. I'm gonna have this in my, oh gosh, I'm really nervous. Can you guys, you can sort of see the, the, the oven, right? Okay, so first I have, to, I have to put the bread in, then I'm gonna pull out the bottom rack and pour the water into the thing, then I have to shut it really quickly. So I'm really nervous, let's do this. Okay. Okay, oh God. My phone screams too. So I think the purpose of that is to like keep it moist inside or whatever. Now we have to set the timer. So I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. Your timer's already paused. Change it. Change it. 30 minutes of counting. Thanks, Siri. Siri, what happens if you burn bread? Let me check on that. Okay, I found this up. Siri, do you like bread? I have not tried bread before. Why have you not tried bread before, Siri? Yes, you. Why have you not tried bread before? I figured as much. That makes no f***ing sense, Siri. Okay, so we're gonna come back in half an hour and see what the bread's like. We're gonna see what it's like, guys. We're gonna see what it's like. Oh my god. Okay, so it's been a long time. It's been well over. Well over the time that it's supposed to be in. This has been like for 20, 28 to 36 minutes. It's been in for like 36 minutes. So we're gonna take it out now, okay? Wait, I need to protect my counter with these. Okay. So I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them on these little, you know, these little quirky boards, okay? And then I'm gonna transfer it onto a cooling rack in five minutes, I guess. So let's just see what happened. Let's just see. Oh, they're so cute! They're so cute! Look at them! Look what I've created. They're quite hard. I wonder if I fed up. They're quite hard. Well, actually, they're, they're they're like pretty. They're pretty good. They have like a good, like a good, good. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, it said to leave them here for five minutes. Otherwise, it'll be doughy inside. So I'm gonna leave them here for five minutes, and then we're gonna transfer them onto like probably like a cutting board for them to cool. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm so nervous. My friends, it has been over five minutes. These are still really warm, but I want to move them into like not this. So I'm just gonna gentle, be gentle with it. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> we should absolutely try a piece of bread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a handy dandy bread knife. All right, we're gonna chop a little bit off and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm just gonna take like an edge. Oh my God, it looks like bread. <gasps> Look at that, it looks like bread. It smells 
like bread. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. This is the achievement of what all 300,000 of us, this is what we've created. A beautiful loaf of bread, ready to be enjoyed by countless people. I don't give a shit. This is so good. I don't give a I'm just put some butter on the bread. You know, why not, you know? Throw some butter on there. Now knowing that I can make bread this good and this healthy as far as bread goes, this is what the channel is, you know? Like we started out with some raw ingredients. Notice some flax seeds and some pumpkin and there's no pumpkin in this. I'm not sure why I said pumpkin, but it started out as just like a little bit of raw ingredients. And now there are 300,000 of us, over 14 million views here on this channel. And we have turned into a lovely, beautiful, delicious loaf of bread, all of us. And I love you so much for becoming bread with me. You know, what part was I? What part were you? Was I, am I the yeast? Am I the water? Am I, you know, am I the salt? And then like, what part are you individually? That's what I want to know from you. I want to know what part of this bread you are. You specifically, not like you as a group. What part of this bread are you specifically? I'm like, why are you that part? You know? Bonding exercise, you guys. Well, I probably should stop. Well, <clears throat> now that we've experienced the bread too much, too much experience, I'm gonna go for now. Thank you again so much for joining me here and on every other video. And I will see you again very, very soon. I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love you so much, bye of the skin, but the skin of my body has changed completely and it's a very different, it's like a different person. It's, it's awesome and it's bewildering and it's bizarre. But at the four month mark, my skin is definitely nothing like it used to be, which is great. I 